Customizing the default 2011 WordPress theme. How to add a border between the right side of the content area and the sidebar area. Now this is what it looks like before. Let me scroll down a bit here. This is the right side of the content area and the sidebar area. This is the before picture. Let's take a look at the after picture. Now you can also be a little more fancy with this, but I'll get to that here in just a second. Let's quickly take a look at the code we're going to use to make that adjustment. Now here are some of the areas, the main area anyway, that you can customize. The size of the border, right now I've got it set at 3 pixels. If you want it less noticeable, you can go smaller. If you want it more noticeable, you can go bigger. And I've also got it set at dotted. You can go with solid, dashed, or dotted. Those are the three options that I'm aware of. There may be more, but those are the three biggies anyway. And you can also add a little extra flair if you'd want and make it colorful. Because right now there's no color, it's just black. If you want, we can also add, let's say, the color red. Let's go ahead and copy this into our clipboard. Get this guy out of the way. Let's open up our text editor, and I'm using Notepad++. And this is my style.css file in my child theme. Now, if you do not use a child theme, which I highly recommend that you do, but if you're not and like to live on the edge, then you can just add the same code to the bottom of your parent themes style.css. Let's go ahead and paste that in there and save and open up my FTP client. Now yes you can do all of this work inside the editor portion of your WordPress site. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But let's first go ahead and upload this and overwrite the existing style.css. Again this is in my child theme here. And you would do the same thing if you're not using a child theme. You would just do this within your parent themes and overwrite your style.css in the main folder or the main directory of your parent theme. Let's get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. And let's refresh. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that's an image. Now let's refresh our page. And there you go. You can see it's red. Now you can also adjust the padding here if you like. Well, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about there. Let's head into the dashboard area and go to the appearance sub panel. Go into editor. And this is where you can also add the code now I've, I'm in my child theme style.css here. You can add the code here and that would just save the step of having to edit the style.css on your computer and then uploading and overwriting that file in your directory using an FTP client. You can, do, you can do it all right here. I just wanted to show you both methods. Now here I wanted to point out the margin. This is where we're looking at the distance between the edge here and the text here and for that matter the text here and the next line up in this case that would be the posted on date and also the distance between the text here and the border and you know might as well go ahead and do this to the text here and the bottom here now these are the margins now just a quick look here a quick definition if you will whenever you have the abbreviated margin form like this all on one line and there's four digits We've got this digit, this digit, this digit, and this digit. And by the way, in 2011, they are using percentages. In the default 2010 theme and before, they're using pixels. So that's another big difference here. But just want to kind of point that out there. But if you look at this as a clockwise trip around a box or a circle or whatever, you've got the clock starting at the top. So this first digit here on the left is the top margin, and there's zero. So if you were to put a number in here like 20%, then you would see the distance between here and here increase a great deal. And don't forget, where you add in one place, it's going to be taken away in other places. So you might you know, kind of screw things up. So just let it be known. You want to look all around, try it in different browsers the look of things whenever you make these certain adjustments otherwise just leave them alone and you know go with what I show you but if you were to increase or decrease this then this would affect the right side again going clockwise manner top right bottom left so the distance between here and here is the 2.5 just to demonstrate that real quick uh, let me try to break things here. I'll just go with 5%, which is twice as much as it is currently. Let me go ahead and save this. 
I haven't tried 5%, so if it does break, then you know what not to do. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. Okay, everything seems to work pretty good still. Uh, the world has not come to a crashing end yet, but again, that's one way in which you can adjust things if you find the need to do so. So this video has taught you a few things. One, how to read the margins and how to add a border between the right side of the content and the sidebar.